It was a cold autumn morning in Sylvania. Mother Rose Timbertop had just finished hanging the washing out when Grandmother Fern came up the garden carrying a bunch of flowers. You'll have some more washing to do when Birch returns, said Grandmother Fern. He's gone exploring again. He always gets his clothes dirty with all that digging. Birch Timbertop loved exploring the Sylvanian woods. He spent a lot of time searching for flints and arrowheads to add to his collection. I just hope he's back in time for school, said Mother Rose. Birch knew that he mustn't be late for school. He left home very early to give himself plenty of time and already he was in the valley below the purple mountain, digging for flint. I'm Birch, the famous explorer. I dig for flints all the time. I need some arrowheads as well to add to the collection of mine. Suddenly, he heard a strange scuffling sound. What was that noise? asked Birch. It came from behind that rock. Brave bears! I'm going to see what's there. Birch crept across quietly. He didn't make any noise. Whatever I find, I'll be brave, whispered Birch to himself. Why? It's... It's... Me! I'm lost and lonely. I can't find my family. You look like a kind little bear. Can I come home with you? But I'm Birch, the famous explorer, looking for flints to make arrowheads. If I take a baby goat home instead, my friends will laugh at me. Tears dripped down the goat's face as she looked up at Birch. Does that mean you won't take me home with you? sniffled the baby goat. I'll be good. I promise I will. <coughs> I know what. The baby goat skipped over to a nearby rock and butted it. The rock slid aside and underneath it... You found some flints for me. Look at them. They're a marvellous sample, said Birch. <coughs> now will you take me home with you, asked the goat. Of course I will. You're my lucky mascot. Birch and the baby goat hurried.